You've probably heard about a capacitor before because they are literally everywhere from the tiniest capacitors inside of a computer to the biggest capacitors inside of defibrillators, lasers, rail guns, even the clouds in the sky make up a giant capacitor. Capacitors are like a battery, but with two main important differences. Instead of chemical energy, capacitors store their energy in an electric field. And while batteries are best at slow and steady discharges, capacitors can release all of their energy in a fraction of a second. Now this little capacitor can store about 1 one hundredth of a joule of energy. It's definitely gonna hurt you, but it's nowhere near enough to kill you. This capacitor comes from a camera's flash. This is enough to potentially stop your heart if you touched both terminals at the same time. It probably wouldn't, but yeah, you, you don't want to take that chance and it would hurt a lot. Now this capacitor comes from a defibrillator and at 2000 volts I'm very confident that this would stop your heart because that is what it was designed to do. And then there's this bad boy. This wouldn't just stop your heart. This would explode it like a grenade inside of your body, like a, like a heart grenade in your body. It would be very unpleasant. Let me show you what would happen if you touched this. All right, so we're gonna test out this capacitor right here. I've got a banana that I put a wire through and we're gonna drop it on the capacitor and watch what happens. All right, guys, we've got 20,000 volts on this capacitor. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh God, it's terrifying. Three, two, one. Wow. Wow, <laughs> that was awesome. So that capacitor has a thousand joules of energy in it. Now we're gonna go over to my friend's house because he built a capacitor that has 20,000 joules of energy. That's about 20 of those capacitors stacked up to each other. Look at how big these beautiful capacitors are. You can fit so many electrons in that bad boy. All right, and we have these giant copper bus bars on either side of the capacitor. One goes up here and then the other one it goes through this giant contact switch. So when you press a button on a trigger, this will flip down and bam, discharge the capacitor. Nice. For our first test, we're going to be exploding a baby because I think that we should probably say, don't try this at home. But in order to really drive that point home, we're gonna blow up a baby. All right, so we've got the baby all wired up. This should be pretty good. Are you ready to go? We're ready. We're ready. Right, we're releasing the safety. Okay. We're inserting the charging stick thing. We got the trigger mechanism ready to go. Turn this down. Plug in the charging system. Ready? Ready. One volt should be a thousand volts. So we're at 2,000 volts now. That's charging pretty fast. Charging pretty fast. Let's, let's stop at maybe 12,000 volts. Okay, okay, we'll stop at 12. Oh, it's starting to, it's starting to get pissed off. They're uncomfortable right now with how high the voltage is going. That's how you know it's gonna be good. All right, all right, pull that. All right. Uh, capacitor bank versus baby. Three, two, one. Whoa! Dude, that sounds like a gunshot. Dude, that was so loud. It's, and the birds stopped screaming. Oh no, they started oh, screaming more. Safety, discharge. Safety, short circuit. All right, it's safe. It looks what like a this? fish from Finding Nemo. Oh, does this still work? Oh, yeah. This is all, like it burned off all of the plastic. But not, it's like, it's just slightly charred, but I think the color is just the wire being vaporized and. Oh yeah, it's like it's copper. Right, it's copper there's, there's not even, you can't even feel like with your fingernail, you can't feel any indentation in the vinyl. Like, yeah, <laughs> this you is, you're not getting out of this this easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a meat, salty meat necklace, thank you. All right, we're at 15,000 volts. That's plenty of volts, Kevin. 15,000? Yes, that's so many volts. I think this will drive the point home, not to touch this. All right, we're live, guys. I have been given the power. All right, so I guess you're doing the countdown then. Okay. 100, 99, 98. Three, two, one. Oh my God. I got hot dog. I got hit by hot dog. It was raining. You've got you're covered in meat. <laughs> look at look at you got you got little meat morsels on you. That was a lot of power. I didn't know if, I didn't think that would work really, but oh my gosh. Get a close up of the GoPro. It's just covered, Dude, covered in that's meat. Blasted. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Dude, it's a detonation. That that fire is just like is it the wire? That has to be the wire. Why and is it orange like that? It's fire. 
Is it actually it's like fire? The metal is burning. It's like superheated oh. air. That's there's no like combustion there. That's just Holy the air on fire. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've seen what happens to your fingers if you touch this, and we saw what would happen to your baby if your baby touched this, we're going to test out the watermelon. Coco melon. You see what we did there? Are you, are you ready, guys? Yeah, yeah. All right, one, two, three, say cheese. Oh my oh. God. I eat the watermelon from Alan's punch gun, but I am not gonna eat this watermelon. It's really slow in slow motion, but it went off when you hit the ground. Oh. oh. Wow. Man. You can't really even see it because the, the mist from the watermelon takes up the entire frame. I bet you could see a piece directly. Yeah, you can see a piece directly hit the camera lens. All right, now what? This is a Taco Bell burrito, and you've seen the commercials where there's like some fancy burrito that self-assembles. This is gonna be that, but exactly the opposite. Yeah, this one really has no rhyme or reason. We're just gonna blow up a burrito. Because we weren't sticky enough or covered in enough meat already. Now we're gonna be covered in beans. <laughs> where do you wanna go to? 15,000? Uh, you wanna oh, go higher? Oh, that's a big number. <laughs> turn it. I'm gonna unplug off, it. Unplug. Walk away with the detonator. Three, two, one. And I got it! I got it! <laughs> it looks like Hiroshima almost. That's what a nuclear bomb looks yeah, like. Have you ever looks, seen the videos of the first like ones? It looks just like that. It's like out pure desert. white and then a shock wave of... Wow, that's amazing. That's what it does to your bowels too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Will has a theory that sometimes when we blow up whatever we're blowing up, there's still charge left in the capacitor. So we're gonna try doubling up the wires to really extract all of the energy out of these capacitors. Yeah. Three, two, one. This has been perfectly sliced in half. Hey, wow. Oh, where we're going, we don't need knives. <laughs> all right, high voltage banana. This is all you. Tastes like banana. Oh, look, it's perfectly cut in half, too. It sliced the banana right in half. And then sent the, the peel is totally fine. It wouldn't, fine. like, flying over there. All right, so not only can we use this capacitor bank to send energy directly into something and have it explode like that, we can actually send it through a coil of wire, which will basically turn into a giant magnet. This coil will create a huge magnetic field and pop the cap right off of this beer. All right, so we're going to see if we can open a beer with 5,000 volts. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Ah. All right, take two with 15,000 volts, three times the power. If this doesn't work, we're doing it again. Three, two, one. Yeah! <laughs> it yeah! worked! I felt something get there. Oh my god! It took it off perfectly! Break it! Is there any crack? Kevin, there's no. not even cracked! Yes! We're patented. That's beautiful. We opened a bottle of beer, now we're gonna try opening a bottle of LaCroix. And I think what's gonna happen here is this is gonna create such an intense magnetic field that's going to constrict the can and just basically cut the can in half and shoot it up into the air. You can unplug it this time. All right, one foot up, and away. Three, two, one. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Dude, this is flat. So, so what's happening is the like the magnetic field is inducing a, a current in the can. Yeah. Which. A current in the can is creating a magnetic field. Which is like yeah. opposing the current in the And coil. they're opposite magnets. Yeah. And then it just shreds itself. Uh, yeah, in I the guess magnetic, so, right? Its own magnetic field combined with the magnetic field that created the magnetic field. They're opposing and it like wrecks itself. The can is scared of electricity. <laughs> pop the top. Pop the top. I can't believe it didn't like pop the top off though. Okay, so now we're going to be trying a mostly full can of butane. And then we're gonna have a torch here that will ignite the cloud of butane gas. It'll be like a fuel air explosive. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. That's pretty much exactly what we thought was gonna happen. Did it open? Oh, it definitely opened. No. No way. Whoa. Holy crap. Did it blow that out? I think so. Oh my gosh, the can is compacted. Dude, we literally invented a new way of manufacturing. <laughs> Wait. Still works. No. This has been magnetically deformed. Wow. Look at the look at the, the it heat. just like peeled. Yeah, it, it just peeled oh off the it, look at it, it's buckled in here at the seam where did this it, is kind of welded together. Did you catch it? Did it did it stretch or did it compress in? Yeah. If if this thing is taller than a new can, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> it is! Dude, it's like <laughs> is it it's like a like maybe three sixteenths or a sixteenth taller, yeah. Right now, we're going to be trying to 
tickle this pickle with 20, with 15,000 volts. We're not gonna run a wire all the way through it. We're gonna put probes into each end and use the pickle itself as the conductor. So right now these probes only stick in about a quarter of an inch. So we're gonna see if the whole pickle will just light up. Cause they're salty. Like, yeah, they're super salty. I can't imagine that something exciting happens. <laughs> these are just gonna shoot out. <laughs> oh yeah, little steam rockets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Wow, I got hit with more stuff. I got stuff. hit by pickle. Dude, how did it explode? I did not think it was gonna explode like that. All right, here we go. Dude, Dude it's just gone. Oh, we need another pickle. We should do like way lower expo exposure at like a much higher frame rate. So, the pickle <laughs> conducted so much electricity. It just vaporized. It vaporized. <laughs> we deleted the pickle. <laughs> Dude, that pickle is gone. Okay, so we're gonna be doing another pickle this time, and we're really gonna zoom in, and we're really gonna turn down the exposure and bump up the frame rate to see if there's anything crazy, like what's happening in the pickle before it explodes. Like, why is it exploding, even though that there's no wire going through the pickle? Three, two, one. Oh, that was so good. I got hit by a huge chunk of pickle. Oh, you see it like oh yeah, like, <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Look how big it is between this frame What's and this There's something frame. coming out of the pickle too up top. Pickle gas. Here. Pickle gas. That's the yeah, salt. Pickle gas. The pickle. That is That's a legitimately pickle strange gas. picture. Oh. All right, so if all this stuff about microfarads, jewels, and induction currents, if all this has you scratching your head, don't worry about it. You are not alone. I've always been interested in learning about electronics, but I never knew where to start. You could try to skip ahead and start building circuits that you don't quite understand yet, but then you're going to end up with a bunch of dead MOSFETs. Or you could take a course at The Great Courses Plus and start having a lot better results. The Great Courses Plus is a subscription on-demand video learning service with top-notch courses and lectures from the best professors from Ivy League and other universities, and experts from places like the Smithsonian, National Geographic, and the Culinary Institute of America. I enjoyed lectures from the Understanding Modern Electronics course. And the lectures on transistors, electronic feedback, and amplifier circuits helped me understand and diagnose problems with my high-voltage capacitor charging circuit. And hey, if electronics aren't your thing, I totally understand. The Great Courses Plus offers over 11,000 other lectures for anything that interests you. Science, history, math, cooking, photography. The Great Courses Plus is giving viewers, you guys on my channel, a great offer for a free trial. So show your support for my channel by subscribing to The Great Courses Plus also. So head on over to thegreatcoursesplus.com slash backyard and check out all the stuff they have to offer. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to do more electric videos in the future, just let me know. I've got a lot of cool stuff planned. I want to make a giant Marx generator and maybe some other stuff like this. So uh, see you guys next time. Bye.